Hey, what's up, guys? So we're at a first stop. We got a little Carson here with us. We are in Dallas, Texas, and this is the childhood home slash gas station that Clyde Barrow from Bonnie and Clyde owned. Um, his dad ran this gas station back in the early 1930s. Well, before that, but the 1930s when Bonnie and Clyde were um, all doing all their adventures and crime spree. They would come by here to meet up with their family every now and then. But this is the family-owned Clyde Barrow's dad's gas station and boyhood home. So we're going to take a look around and see what we can find. So this is just the outside. You can tell it's vacant. It's falling apart. Got some busted windows. It's wild across the street. You got these. Uh, you got these condos across the street. Back in the day, this would have been isolated, but uh, I'm a huge, huge Bonnie Clyde fan. So coming here is just way, way cool. Way cool. Got somebody. There's a lot of graffiti on here. It says "Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant." like all the windows are boarded up so I'm not gonna be able to get a get a peek on the inside here. It's gonna be heart shaped underwear. Yeah it's it's all boarded up can't even get on the inside of it. You can see anything huh? No some more rest in peace signs but anyways this is pretty awesome um later in this vlog when we're more quiet a quiet setting we'll uh do a little bit more talking about bonnie clyde here's a busted window so i'm just gonna put the camera up here to see I'll have to check it. Don't know if I was able to see anything in that, in that busted window. Here's, yeah, it's more rest in peace stuff. Oh yeah, it's trashed in there. I don't know if you guys can see this. You could see, like, maybe put a ceiling or something. Something, yeah. All right, we're gonna go off. All right, we're at the uh, cemetery. Wendy, it's where the flowers are. Coming in a group. Anyways, we're coming to Clyde's grave, which I'm uh, pretty excited about. This is a huge thing for me. Look at that. That's Clyde and Marvin's grave, which is Buck. Buck was the killed in the first shootout. Uh, and of course, Clyde was killed in that. And this is his parents. Um, Tommy was his mom, then Henry was his dad. And then here's Elvin Morrow. This is just amazing. So that headstone used to be upright, but it kept getting vandalized and stolen. So they concreted it in the ground. How cool is that? So on Clyde and Bucks or Marvin's, you see how that's set in like that. I love that. Gone, but not forgotten. So, uh, that headstone used to actually sit right on top of there. But with people vandalizing it, breaking it, trying to steal it, they ended up just concreting it down flat. Just get a quick overview. 
it's kind of a bummer to look in the cemetery and it's kind of all overgrown and really not taken care of so this is cool i'm a huge bonnie clyde fan i've seen the death car i've been down to louisiana where they're ambushed they got an ambush museum been to joplin to the uh the hideout house which that'll be another vlog because we'll be it's an airbnb now so we'll be staying in there doing that um so there'll be more bonnie clyde stuff coming coming in the near future get one more view very cool So now we're at the cemetery of Bonnie, or I'm uh, sorry, yeah, Bonnie, Bonnie. We're gonna check out Bonnie's grave, um, which both of these are really, really easy to find. This one, we just really ran into it, so. Look at that toy gun. So there's Bonnie's grave. Got all kinds of stuff on there beads makeup a toy gun look at someone left their uh identification card that is wild someone left their identification card you got cigarettes all kinds of stuff on her grave and then over there emma is her mother Hey, Wendy, get something we can leave. Come and go lighter? There's a come and go lighter, yeah. Do you have a come and go lighter? I did, I bought one. Oh, wait a minute. I may have something. The only other thing I got is the dead stuff your dad gave me. I'm not leaving that. So guys, we're at our last Bonnie Clyde spot. And you see right there is Bonnie's grave. Um, so we went by the Barrel gas station, uh, Clyde's grave, Bonnie's grave. Um, this almost concludes my, I've been having a 20 year adventure on Bonnie and Clyde and going to the different sites. Um, so I gotta go inside the Joplin house next, which is in Missouri. And that'll conclude my Bonnie and Clyde adventure. I just wish I was vlogging and documenting this on video, but I do have all the pictures I'll post when I conclude all of this. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Um, just communicate with us. We'll communicate back. Little Carson back there. We will uh, see you on the next one. Peace out. So we're at the grave of Ted Hinton. And for those of you guys that don't know, this is one of the gunmen that ambushed and killed Bonnie and Clyde uh, back in 1934. Very cool, buried here right in Dallas. Hey everybody, you're watching Hey Guy with Mike here. So last weekend we went to Dallas, Texas to check a few things out. And one of the things that we wanted to check out was some Bonnie and Clyde stuff. Um, I've been a big fan of theirs for a long time, or the history of it, I should say. Uh, if you look up there, my garage right there, I got some Bonnie and Clyde stuff. So I've been all over. I've been to the Death Car in Prim, Nevada. I've been down to the Ambush Museum in Gibsland. Um, actually had the opportunity to, sp to speak with uh, Boots Hitton when he was alive. And Boots Hitton was the son of Ted Hitton, one of the guys that was in the posse that ambushed and killed Bonnie and Clyde, which we were able to check out their grave, you'll see in the video. So the video is gonna start out with the gas station that Clyde's father owned, and 
Everywhere it says it's his boyhood home, and that's what I say in the video, but do more research on it. I don't think Clyde grew up there. Somebody's, somebody out there will correct me, I'm sure. Um, so we kind of check out the gas station. It's abandoned. It's all boarded up. Um, I did see on the uh, Facebook page of the Ambush Museum that they were planning on not them, but there's a site planning on restoring it, so I don't know if that's going to come into play or not. I hope it does. That would be pretty awesome if it does. And then we'll go to Bonnie and Clyde's grave, which is separate cemeteries. And then um, we were actually looking for um, Dimebag Daryl and Vinnie Paul's grave from Pantera and went to the wrong cemetery and discovered Ted Hinton's grave. So that would be kind of a little bit of a bonus on this video. Um, the Joplin hideout, I actually live about an hour from there. I've been to the hideout several times, but have not been inside of it. Now it's an Airbnb that I found out through watching Adam the Woo's channel, uh, the Daily Woo. He went there recently, just I think a few weeks ago and stayed in there. And that's how I found out it's an Airbnb. So that'll be another vlog on Bonnie the Clyde. So this has been an adventure that I've been following for many years. I've been a fan since I was a kid. Uh, along with Billy the Kid and Bonnie and Clyde are my favorite outlaws of all time. So you'll probably be seeing a lot more stuff of that. So anyways, um, here's a reflection of last weekend in Dallas. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, hit the thumbs up on it. Subscribe, comment, like, do all that stuff. Appreciate it, guys.